There we go. Now, <clears throat> I can respect a man with a healthy sense of paranoia and billions to spare, but Steve and Nat are really up my ass about this. Take the watchtower offline now. Bruce, <coughs> you don't want this fight, Tony. It'll be the biggest mistake of your life. Clark, do you read me? The watchtower is being attacked. Seriously, Bats? I figured out hacking in the second grade. How do you think I got in here? Aside from... Really, Bruce? This sick? I thought we were grown-ups here. Ready when you are. Friday, I need Soul's Hammer online pronto. Match my coordinates. I'll try to. Uh oh. What did you expect? I am Batman. And I. Am Iron Man. I've got a suit for everything, Bats, including busting wannabe gods like you. Some power to hacking that suit. Like I said, second grade. Friday, fire the hammer! <laughs> Holy shit! No more armors, Tony. Just you and me, man to man. Well, man to genius billionaire playboy. Uh, uh, Maybe just one more. Model 58, the uh, nano armor. Snuck it into your body back on the watchtower. Friday, initiate self-destruct. Friday, I could really use a drink. And that's basically the result of that. So, here's my problem with this. Okay. That's not Batman's most powerful suit, the Hellbat suit. The Hellbat suit was designed and implemented and upgraded by not only all the leagues of the Justice League, uh, Justice League members, but it was also modified by Batman. And basically, it is a suit that allowed him to go to Darkseid's planet defeat his entire army, defeat all of his sons, who are ex insanely powerful, by the way, and also defeat Darkseid as well. And if we're going to talk about Darkseid, he's basically the copycat of Thanos. That's the best way to explain him briefly. And he is absolutely fucking insane when it comes to power. Like, insane. Okay, you, you like you could Google all of Darkseid's speed feats, strength feats, you name it. Like, he is no fucking joke, okay? And he defeated him by himself with that suit. And the only cons of the Hellbat suit is that it drains the user's power and life force slowly and briefly. To meaning that he can only be in the suit for a certain amount of time. But other than that, the suit is just ridiculously fucking powerful now i'm gonna be honest could iron man's suit more than likely beat 
dark side, his most powerful suit. You know what I mean? Uh, um, as well, maybe uh, you know. Uh, but let's say if it can, okay, then you know. Oh yeah, they're on equal ground. But you know, whatever. Batman has limited time, so he's more likely to lose. Well, let me tell you this: Batman wouldn't even need to go to this extreme, okay? And, and there's one reason why. He has an armor suit that is even more powerful than that, okay? Better yet, if Batman really wanted to be an asshole, he could do something else. But we're not even going to talk about that yet. He has a suit that literally is a suit that is being used with Element X, which is the most purest, most strongest form of nymph metal, okay? The best way to explain nymph metal is think of, you know, like vibranium from Marvel, okay? Like an alien type metal. It's just like that, but it's even more broken. It's just, it's absolutely insane what nymph metal can fucking do. Um, but it's called Element X. And Element X is extremely fucking powerful. It has done absolutely insane things. And before I even get to that, we're going to talk about this little description right here. This suit is basically makes him a multiversal threat, meaning like he can threaten an entire fucking multiverse, okay, or universe itself. But anyways, Bruce is able to see the hearts of everyone in existence. Just want to let just put that out, everyone in existence, and rewrite them cell by cell to be who he wants them to be. The suit puts the Hellbat armor to shame and then kicks it when it's down for good measure. He has the ability to rewrite all beings as he sits fit. Not only does the suit grant him godlike power, but also augments him to superhuman, uh, superman levels of strength, speed, and etc. He's able to solo the entire Justice League with ease. To be clear, this contingent of the League contains Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Hawkgirl, Martian Hunter, and Flash, and Batman swats them with ease. And... That's basically that. And this is what the suit looks like. Pretty fucking badass, right? That would have been really nice to see in the Iron fight, right? You know, like, it would have been... The best way to really have done the fight, if I was, um... Is to do the hell, the whole Hellbat scenario, whatever. And, you know, bat, the, how the fight basically went. And then after that, fucking, you know, once it's there... He gets out of the Hellbat suit. And immediately this armor falls right in front of him. And he goes into that one, and he's like, all right, what you going to do about this one now, Tony? You know, since you want to play armor to armor. And it would just be a wrap. <clears throat> that would be it. Okay, and that's just a small little brief description, okay? So you want to know even more juicier details about this armor suit? The title is, is also called Element X. It is the material of possibly native from the World Forge. Is it is the purest metal from the forge and composes every bit of matter and all living beings within the multiverse. The element X is used by the new gods to power their technologies, and even the world forge are used to element X to create universes. So keep all that in mind, guys. So, that being said, uh, the wielders of element X is the uh, anti monitor, the world forger, Justice League, and the new gods. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Um, attack potency unknown once was once used to defeat and cast Bar Barbados out of the earth by the Justice League and rebuilt the universe by using Element X, broke open the source wall. That's a feat, by the way. Batman got a hold of the Element X. He uh, had the whole Justice League put it on as well, the, the metal, and they basically defeated Barbados. Um, and were able to break the source wall with it as well and rebuild the entire universe. <clears throat> Powers and abilities, creation. So this is one of them, creation. So mind you, Batman's suit has these abilities and powers, okay? Element X is used to create universes. Reality warping has the power to create and destroy matter based on its wielder's desires. Precognition, that word, power bestow, the mother box give to cyber access to the engine of the multiverse, that word. The sun box can determine people's hearts and mind manipulation. The final bat suit can rewrite people's hearts cell by cell. Was used to cast Barbados out of the earth. The dimensional travel, the power source of the mother box. Range multiversal, likely higher. 
was used to raise the Earth from the dark multiverse back to that and broke the source wall at the very edge of the multiverse. And the weakness, the effects of the Element X may be canceled. The metal was too deep in the dark multiverse. So, this right here. Okay. And these are feats. The future Batman used Element X to create the Sunbox in the final Batsuit. Um, and then the Justice League used Element X to defeat Barbados, which Barbados is basically this celestial god being that was the ruler of his, of the dark multiverse, and they were able to beat him with it. The Justice League used Element X to free everyone from Barbados' hold and connect them to raise the Earth from the dark multiverse, blah, blah, blah. A sufficient amount of Element X is connected to every beings on Earth, and Justice League was able to break the source wall. The element X is the material that is composed most of the multiverse, any bit of matter and every living beings within it. We already read that. So on and so forth. Oh, this is a big one. The element X is the power of the most of the new gods technology included in the mother box, the Mobius chair, and the miracle machine. When Batman actually sat in the Mobius chair, he became the god of knowledge. That's one of the things element X created. And uh, also created mother boxes and so on and so forth. Mother box give to cyber access to the energy of the multiverse. Um, and then John Stewart had a bullet containing a miniaturized omniversal wormhole encased in 10th metal. Reality warping. Element X has the ability to shape and materialize anything the user can think of and make it real. The 10th metal was once used, but it just rebuilt the universe and volunteer add new things to the universe forged by their own sub supplemented desires. Creation. It's a metal used by the World Forge to hammer entire universes into the World Forge. Pre-ignition, the Element X can reveal to its handle, uh, handle its visions of the future based upon what their hearts truly desire, showcasing preview of what's, of what's to come in the near future. Clear events uh, use the Element X often receive visions of various occurrences through space and time, as well as all across the multiverse. Um, that, yeah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Pretty cool, right? And then this was... Batman's suit, you can't see the photo of it, but that was Batman's final suit, then, El <clears throat> then Element X, the metal, and then the 10th metal armors was like, um, <clears throat> was basically, uh, just a picture of all that, but anyways, so, that's just all of that, and just reading that, guys, that goes to show you how fucking insanely powerful Element X is. And I remind you, he put Element X on a fucking bad armor suit and basically can do anything he wants with it. And then everything else that I read with it. He can literally read read everyone in the fucking universe, okay, or multiverse. He can read everyone's thoughts and hearts and rewrite them cell by cell. So he basically can control anyone and make them do whatever the fuck he wants. And... If he really wanted to, he could just, with power alone, like strange speed and everything, just whoop everyone's ass. Like, what, the, how the fuck do you beat that? You know what I mean? Like, like, what do you do? And then this is another example. It says, how powerful is the final bat suit? What are its feats, its powers, blah, blah, blah so on and so forth, right? And at first, uh, the final bat suit only seems to be dangerous in one aspect. The suit is built to be uh, to be the sunbox, capable of allowing its user to see into, but also changing people's minds, independent of their life form size. The final bat suit can change minds down to a cellular level, hearts as well. We did, we read that before, but whatever. This is kind of him talking with the World Forger. Mind you, the World Forger is the son of a, of a celestial being of I forgot her name, but she basically created everything to begin with. So she's the most powerful being in the multiverse. He's the son. So and he is complimenting Batman on creating this himself he's saying yeah you created the most powerful weapon great job you know so up to this point the suit only seemed to be to only be the ultimate mind altering machine but as he fights the rest of the league we can see that the suit is capable of more apparently the suit has reactionary adaptive capabilities as in it supplies batman with whatever he needs to stop someone as it is in supplies batman with whatever he needs to stop someone this is what it looks like. Make them see the light, my son knight. He's over here doing something to Flash. Doing that. 
you know, he's just, the Martian Manhunter then, like, puts his hand down on him. And he's like, no, you listen, takes his hand off. They're like, what, so you can rip our minds from us, Bruce? Which makes sense seeing even more uh, normal mo mother box are capable of doing that. When Superman went to face Doomsday for the second time, the mother box he had with him equipped him with all kinds of weapons to give him more options. And this is, and mind you, the reason why it's talking about all this is because, and mind you, with Element X, okay, he utilized that just like what, what is set up here. If I go up, this, this suit was built to be the sun box. Okay. So not only does it have the most powerful metal in the multiverse, Element X, which you know everything that can do alone, it is also built in to create a sun box, just like similar to the mother boxes and all that stuff and so on and so forth. So back to the mother box. Mother boxes have all kinds of abilities. They have abilities too. Since the gravi gravitational constant of an area, transfer energy from one place to another, sense danger, sense life, create force fields, rearrange molecular structure of matter, absorb and project powerful shock blasts, create electrowebs, control the mental state of a host, communicate telepathically with a host or another life form, manipulate the life form of a host to sustain its past fatal injuries, open and close boom tubes, take over and control not sentient machines, evolve not sentient machines, merge sentient a sentient beings into a single more powerful being sustain a life form from a hostile environment such as space they can do many more things so all these abilities were also part of the batman's final bat suit in principle it can take on god level characters i've seen a comp in comics gods that were beaten to a mess being healed by a mother box but because godly uh you know and then it says because godly power varies in a lot in dc i can't really tell you exactly the suit can defeat or not defeat and that's basically what he says. But basically, just to kind of give you, you know, a gist. Okay. Pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. And that's that. You know? And it's easy, Batman with powerful armor, the multiverse. They they just call it, they call the armor the multiverse. That's literally what the fuck it is. It is literally the multiverse. You know. I'm just looking at this real quick. Yeah, ability using the element X. Yeah, see? And then it says, yeah, it says the same thing that we read. The city laws by not only read and determine people's mind, but also rewrite themselves by cells. Yeah, so on and so forth. Pretty fucking crazy, though. And then this was like a comic vine where someone's like saying, who would win his suit or Iron Man's God Killer armor that was able to fight against Celestials? Um, uh, I wonder if there's actually a response for this. I don't think it is. No, it wasn't this one. There was like another one that I found. Um, so the God Killer MK wasn't actually built by Tony. It was built by the Aspirants to fight the Celestials during the war. The Aspirants were causing beings equal to power to the Celestials that, that sought the approval of the first firmament or whatever. The creator of the first call, blah, blah, uh, First and most powerful version of multiversal eternity. Yeah, okay. Then it says, was modeled after blah, blah. It was enough to let him battle with the Dark Celestia, making it a planet buster, busting in system, solar system busting armor if given time. So, and then you got Batman's suit. It was built by Future Batman to be his final suit and built into the Sunbox, a chair that allowed him to rewrite a person's being cell by cell.
read their hearts and minds and made with element x element of pure possibility and the source of power for the mother boxes father boxes and miracle machine so even more shit this guy is being even more of a nerd remember we only covered mother boxes abilities and element x's abilities apparently it's with this as well pretty fucking crazy so Element X is capable of br bringing the wearer's will, will into being essential, allowing them for reality warp and based on the elemental version of a cosmic cube. Oh, and this is Batman in like a, with the same exact thing, Element X, but like as a regular bat suit design, not like what he had, what he built. Because remember that, that bigger bat suit is literally with everything. Element X and the mother, all that stuff, you know, the most broken shit in the universe or the DC universe. This is just Element X alone, but like I said, you already know what Element X can fucking do, so. And that shit just looks fucking bad. Imagine that, but on the Hellbat suit. Like, just imagine that. And see, and mind you, we're only talking about Batman's most powerful suit. Imagine him putting Element X on the Hellbat suit. With no weaknesses, and if it's, it's just even more powerful. Like, what the fuck, what, did, what the fuck is Iron Man gonna do with his, you know? Nothing gonna get fucking destroyed okay so it allows him to effortlessly overtake just thing, including the martial manager which is one of the, in one of his largest forms to date which is extremely important considering the competition for a scan first panel I say the final bat suit wins with minor to mild effort, but both god killers are exceedingly powerful but the MK2 is short of physical force and the god killer MK I even if Tony could pilot again he can't wouldn't make much more of a difference. Yes, it's easy, far more powerful than the MK, but its properties don't exceed the boundaries of reality. That is to say, it's not a suit made of reality warping element. If the physical power at overall size was the issue, Batman would still win as the suit follows the wearer's will to become reality and its shape to become whatever the world desires. It is actually the middle that Batman used to encase an omniversal wormhole inside of a bullet. Not a wormhole the size of uh, of an omniverse, mind you, but one capable of ripping apart the multiverse and destroying the source wall. So Batman created a fucking bullet. Okay. Remind you. Okay. He literally... Batman created from the middle of Element X to encase an omniversal wormhole inside of a bullet... Not a wormhole the size of an omniverse, but mind you, but one capable of ripping apart the multiverse and destroying the source wall, bro. And he made Green Lantern shoot it. That's fucking insane, bro. One of Batman's most incredible feats of intellect considered DC's omniverse contains infinite, infinite sized multiverses. Fourth panel. She is the creator of everything, by the way. Multiverses and shit. Stop sleeping on Bruce's intelligence. How intelligent Batman? Essentially, what you have is Batman wearing a cosmic cube versus Iron Man, blah blah, blah so on and so forth. And that's the same exact deal for Iron Man's fucking current most powerful suit. Okay, and that's everything with Batman's armor. Okay, then you got Iron Man's most powerful suit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you him just to be fair because this is. The, the Hellbat was going against this suit anyways, and, the, and they still were showing that the Hellbat was just far superior than Iron Man's suit, but regardless, we're going to ignore that. The, the, literally, the only reason why Iron Man even won that fight is because of his little last-minute ditch effort with the nanotech shit, okay? Which, for one, of how intelligent Batman is, his self-awareness, his deduction skills, etc., okay, he would immediately know that, that fucking nanotech is going on him or counter it immediately or something. It's fucking Batman, for crying out loud. That's just in character, Okay? And second, okay, not only that, do you know how many fucking tools Batman has in his utility belt? He fucking, he's worn Black Lantern ring, which basically makes him fucking immortal and already dead, you know, and so on and so forth at the power. He has other gadgets that give him even more hacks. Like, shit, the Robin King and the Batman Who Laughs, the amount of gadgets and weapons they fucking have to literally kill anything, like... It's just, Batman has so many gadgets and weapons and tools that just make him fucking unstoppable you know or to be able to beat practically almost anyone you know and the fact that they're literally that's how iron man beats him not even by the armor because technically the hellbat won you know the, the hellbat beat his strongest armor in the in the video but then iron man like hacks his fucking hellbat armor which 
whatever. Well, I'm not, you know, whether if he can or not, whatever. But then lets his satellite thing shoot the freaking big blast out of him. That somehow destroys his Hellbat suit, even though Dark Side couldn't fucking do it. But anyways, and then he beats him with the whole nanotech trick. It's like get the fuck out of here, okay? You know, so it was just stupid. But here is the suit that Iron Man was using. Right here. This is the suit that he was using. Get a little of this. So this is what he was using in that fight. And the Hellbat, mind you, the Hellbat still whooped it. But you know, this is what he was using. He built the ultimate weapon. Okay. So, we'll start here. Uh, God, Buster Armor originated, whatever, uh, within the Escape, a virtual reality developed by Tony Stark. So, Tony decided to develop a virtual reality. Okay, then he was abducted, blah, blah, blah fighting against the motherboard, which is like an operating system or whatever. Okay. And then, blah, 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 he created the God Bluster uh, Armor, which allowed him to be able to destroy the motherboard. You know, and then that was basically it. You know, and really, my problem with this, of them calling it the Godbuster suit, you know, is we don't even know, like, how powerful it is. We don't even know, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing really, like, you know, and then, like, if you read this, it can defeat a god in one solid hit, and that is exactly what it does for the Godbuster armor is extremely powerful and takes out the motherboard. The self-proclaimed god of the escape world. So literally, apparently, the motherboard is a god in a virtual reality world. Whipty fucking do. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? You know, like, he created a virtual reality. For all I know, the fucking motherboard could be a fucking level... It could be an ant, okay? You know, compared to a fucking the, a celestial being in Marvel, like the, the Living Tribunal or whatever. You know, like, it's... This is well. My problem with this is there's not enough to show what he actually can do. Batman, when he's using his armors or doing shit, it clearly shows what it's capable of, you know, and whatnot. This doesn't. It is literally Iron Man fucking creating an armor suit in a virtual reality world that he created, remind you, to beat a motherboard that is apparently a virtual reality god, you know. Like, okay, <laughs> you know, like, like, what what is that, you know, supposed to mean? And, and that's my problem. So it's like, it, it doesn't even, you know, like, I don't know. But like I said, but that's basically my take on the fucking death battle of iron man versus batman like if we're gonna be doing an armored fight okay batman takes the win regardless with his current most strongest armor and what it can do in comparison iron man doesn't have fucking suits that can literally reshape reality itself and do all these other fucking crazy ass feats or better yet fucking rewrite you know your mind and your heart cell by cell and just command you to do anything you fucking want okay like, it's just all the shit that that suit can fucking do. Iron Man does not have a suit nowhere fucking near that. Absolutely nowhere near that. You know, like, you can Google it. You can YouTube it. Literally, he does not have anything. But Batman does. It's a clear win. It's a client, you know, very dry and cut. He wins at the end of the fucking day. It's that fucking simple. And better yet, if we're going to really... And if we're going to put both characters in character, Batman's not just going to have his fucking suit you know, and and not also have other fucking tools and gadgets and weapons, you know. He's going to have a Black Lantern ring. He's going to have this or that or this, you know, to literally make sure, you know, he has the advantage in the fucking fight. That is what he's known for. When he's in fights, he doesn't just boil down to his martial arts or strengths or whatever unless it, that would be enough to take care of the problem. If he knows he's fighting against a threat that is going to be obviously more you know of a threat to where he's gonna have to utilize either certain tools or weapons or a suit he's gonna do what he needs to fucking do it's that goddamn simple okay um but anyways it's gonna be it for this video ladies and gentlemen if you guys enjoy the video make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts down below of who you would actually win in a fight iron man or batman i don't care let me know i'm intrigued and you know if uh what like i said if you 
you know, put your answer down and just let me know. But uh, this is my take. If you guys enjoyed it, you know, awesome. If you didn't, sorry. What's it called? Subscribe for more content. Subscribe if you guys love the channel. And I will be doing a video on Robin King and the Batman Who Laughs of basically what they could do and whatnot and etc. It would be with Robin King first just to show how fucking broken that character is. Basically, he can pretty much kill anything in the DC universe or let's say if he was thrown in Marvel universe he could practically do the same thing but literally the guy has every fucking weapon or gadget you can think of that can just do whatever like he's just insane and the Batman who laughs literally was su such a fucking powerful threat to where he be literally became op omnipotent okay in power literally okay and was literally threatening the entire multiverse and was fighting against the goddess of fucking creation. The one that made everything to begin with, okay? that That's like fucking, you know, that, that's like Batman. Like an, It's literally an evil version of Batman fighting against Marvel's most powerful entity, which is the one above all, you know, or things like that. Like, that's just in fucking sane, bro. Okay, and that's why like it's always just laughable, at least for me, when people want to put Batman against certain characters or this or that. Cause it's like there's variables to it. You know what I mean? Like for instance, like if you if you put Batman against Black Panther, you know, with just his normal suit that he has against Black Panther with a vibranium fucking suit. Yes, obviously, fucking Black Panther is gonna wipe the goddamn floor with him. What the fuck is Batman gonna do? You know? But if you're putting, like, Batman's Hellbat suit, you know, or something that actually, or give him a gadget or a weapon that actually allows him to fucking fight Black Panther either evenly or just to beat him in general, you know, which is, once again, in character of what Batman would do. He wouldn't just square up with someone if he didn't know fucking nothing about them, you know, or better yet, he's like a master fucking strategist and the greatest detective in the world. You know, can instantly deduce or figure out what a person's capable of and etc. You know, if he realizes the situation is dangerous enough, he's going to fucking back out of the situation. You know, he's not going to be an idiot. You know, but anyways, um, this is it. I'm done blabbering. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.